so I've not been around. But I think I'm seeing on TikTok. Where? I don't know what is happening on TikTok. No, no. So guys, I want to make things clear. I want to clear the air. I want to make everything straight. So what do I do? So this is the report. This is a part of the this is the report of um Ilonga postmortem. So no poji manuka postmortem. Mipigwa muhuri ko certified. Okay. Simona ndo hii kwa hapa. Mimi sijakuja hapa kwa story. Sijakuja kwa story. Story and then kwa hizo lives zingine za kuchambua huu uh, alipigwa risasi huu. Uh. Unaona? Mimi sijakuja hapa na risasi. Mimi sijakuja hapa na hizo story za marisasi ama sijui ni nini. Mimi nimekuja na kitu mlikuwa mna mnataka. Mlikuwa mnataka hii report ya postmortem. So reference number iko pale ukenda ni watakuonyesha 541 strop 2024 watakuonyesha huko sasa so what walikuwa kwa hiyo postmortem the grandmother a friend who was me and the auntie and then the police officer wa traffic mwenye alikuwa huko so we were four people but now shosho hangeza kuingia huko so tulibaki watu wangapi tatu so they did the postmortem i was there the auntie was there the traffic police officer was there plus mwenye alikuwa anafanya hiyo ni so tulikuwa watu wote hapo as you can see jina wangu iko hapa Faustin kuna jina ya Regina Njoki was the auntie to Chira and Esther Jerry Chira who is the grandmother who was not able to get inside so date and time of death ilikuwa date 16 mwezi wa 3 2024 at around eh, it was gasharage up around kitu saa 11 it was at tisa, sa tisa na 35 even the money kwa hapa so of course lazima uandike nini ile happen ndio huyu mtakapatikana huko nini nini hizo vitu zote ya yeah, so wanaandika hapo kindly examine the body so because chira yeye alikuwa kicho kime imaribika like ilikuwa open mostly postmortem wanafungua anga kichwa ama wafungue the heart huko so ya chira walifungua huko so sawa for the postmortem to be done so me I could not wait mimi vile walifungua hivyo mimi sijaiona si vitu kama hizo mimi nikaamua we huko ndani sitaweza that's who lipata chicha naye after nimetoka nje chicha can record video nikilia that was so wrong for chicha to do that in the first place i don't know who does that that's why all this time nikikwara kwa matanga kofi yangu nilikuwa ni kivi chini because i don't want people to see me when i'm breaking down okay but chicha you see come in me to go post mode and to me jonia huko chicha instead of helping me was really really struggling to record me while i was crying anyway the report is here the findings kila kitu ko hapa we went why is the postmortem taking too long? This copy was supposed to go back to the police station with the traffic police officer. Tulifanya postmortem before we leave Chira itoleo kwa mochari ilikuwa nazima hii postmortem ifanyike ndio hiyo mwili itoke wapi? Itoke pale city mochari. Then your police agenda nayo kwa traffic base penye hapa ndio hii pigo stamp without these stamps ikiti konal and void they have to certify that this thing is is the correct thing yani mnaona hizo zote hizo zote si mnaona kuna stamp ya kwanza kuna ya pili na kuna ya tatu they have to be certified first if the document ina fake go certified lazima ipelekwe kwa OC wa traffic ndio ijulikane iko valid 
Then now, we were working to see Brian Atoke City Mochari apeleko ke you referral Mochari. Because you guys, what walienda huko waliona vidikuluwa kuna ka. And that is the only thing I was working. I was helping the shoshoku niambia. Shoshan kwana niambia to the only thing my son you can do for me. Kindly take Brian out of this place. Mini kamambia, I'll try my best. I'll take Brian out of this place. Okay? And that is what I did. Mimi mwenye ni likuwa na panda piki piki. Mimi mwenye ndio nilikuwa nalipia hizi vitu nobody else alikuwa anakuja pale kuniambia baba Talisha let me help you do this okay i was all doing this by myself until we tulimaliza kufanya hii document kaisha nilienda mwenyewe polisi akakataa hata hizi panda pikipiki polisi tuliingia na yeye kwa cab tukakuja na yeye hadi huko i guess kuna watu walikuwa huko aliniona nilikuwa na polisi nikiingia na yeye shosha alikuwa amenigoja pale kuanzia 8 So hii form ilirudishwa wapi? Hii form ilirudishwa kwa police station. So for the police station, atakuwa na haraka already mwili ya Brian the only thing I wanted ni mwili ya Brian ifanye nini itoke kusiti mochari ipelekwe place yenye. At least hata family inajua iko place poa. At least sisi kama marafiki tunajua at least atashughulikiwa anawezekwa mahali penye panaka vizuri. And then this copy kakuwa we will take it ile siku tutapata nyafasi. And the only person who is supposed to take any copy kama hii it's only family. One close family and that was Shosho. So kama mimi hata mimi kama baba Talisha hii copy hata ningeenda jujinangi kwa hapa singepewa hii copy. Okay singepewa hii copy hakuna mtu yote angepewa hii copy nobody hakuna mtu angepewa hii copy At sasa e, wewe ni rafiki ya Branchira e, ichukua copy ya postmortem ndio iko hapa so, sawa the only person who could take this form was Shosho alone and Shosho was not in her in her right state kwenda kupiki hii form because alikuwa na vitu mingi sana na pia mimi nimekuwa nikishughulika na mambo ya matanga so atukupata time yote kwenda kuchukua hii copy sawa sawa I want you to get me clearly i've seen rumors i've seen rumors i've seen people create content that hadi mimi mwenyewe nashangaa wow so mlikuwa na brand sikalikuwa na uliwa vile mnasema hivyo mlikuwa hiyo siku kama hata ni risasi mimi na ka like 900 meters from this place to where the scene of accident is hapa tu karibu na shule na talisha it's not that far so i was like wow eh? so watu wamekuwa kilalamika story ya postmortem so mlikuwa mnataka ndo za postmortem ndo hizi hapa nataka kuwasomea so sawa are you ready for that So nataka kugeuza kamera yangu vizuri. Muone vile daktari alisema wenye wataone hiyo handwriting nitawaambia vile iko. Sawa so, sawa. So, Let me now do this. Very nice. Nataka msome vizuri kabisa hapo. Inasema aje. Nataka msome vizuri kabisa hapo hivi. Watu wameenda shule, watu wamefanya medicine, watu sio wamefanya nini someni hapo vizuri. Imesema multiple what? Organs, injuries. Alafu nini nyingine? Blunt force trauma. Alafu akaika in quotes RT1. Exactly. gani ilikuwa hapo tulienda tukaona mtu alimfanyia postmortem kutuelezea kila kitu sawa sawa fungeni comments kwanza bado mimi naongea funga comments bado naongea this is the postmortem Funga comments, funga comments kindly. I'm still talking. Siji nana nafungua kindly funga to comments kidogo. I still need to talk. Kindly, kindly. Funga comments. Mona. 
Kwa ni warudishie tena Ok, wache ni ni warudishie Wale wache wana vizuri Ndo hii kwa hapa Simona ndo hii hapa Inasama nini Multiple organ injuries and blunt head trauma Yenye kwa hapo inawamandika force trauma kwa kichwa Simona, pali mandikwa RTI Meaning that was a road accident incident kwa barabara Sawa sawa The lungs, the kidney Zilikuwa totally damaged The heart ilikuwa ime rapture Sasa mi nataka muniambie Resasi pia winaendanga inagonga ni roho Inaenda kwa kidney Na lungs ina rapture Sasa ndini kwa hali walikuwa na ambizo vitu Bimi ilikuwa tu hivyo And I want to end my life from there Mia don't like arguing Nimaupatia document Nimaupatia kila kitu It's now upon you guys